Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about signing into Decentraland using the new social sign-in option. I'll begin by opening the Decentraland website into a browser. Normally I would recommend using the desktop client, but for this demonstration, the browser version is going to be a little bit more convenient. Your first step is to choose a sign-in method. Previously, Decentraland supported native Web3 wallets like MetaMask or Fortmatic for signing in, but now you could also log in with social accounts such as Google, Discord, Apple, Twitter, and more. For this tutorial, we will be using Google. Most of the steps across the different social sign-in options are similar, so even if you choose a different one, the processes shouldn't differ too much. When you opt for a social sign-in, a service called Magic comes into play. Magic is responsible for linking your social account to a new wallet. It creates the wallet and the private keys on your behalf, simplifying the process and managing your social assets in the background. This makes the process seamless, but it's also important to note that Magic handles your private keys in this scenario. If you'd like to be fully in charge of your private keys and your asset management, I would suggest creating a native Web3 wallet such as MetaMask. For now, we are going to continue with our social sign-in options and select Google. Now that you've chosen your sign-in method, you'll need to verify your account. This involves confirming your login by signing a transaction. After signing, your wallet is automatically created and linked to your social account. After that, you're all set to enter Decentraland, create your avatar, and join the world.